Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, we will start designing this header from scratch using HTML and CSS. So let's get started. Now in this first video, we will write the HTML of this design. And in the next video, we will add the CSS and we'll also see how to make it responsive. So here I have opened up a folder called responsive header in VS code. And I also have this folder called images over here and in that we have these images which we're going to use in our design. And I will leave the link of these images in the description of this video so you can just go ahead and download it. Now let's start by creating an HTML file. So let's click on new file and we'll just create a file called index.html. And let's also create a CSS file so I'll just click on new file and we'll just name it style.css. Alright let's go to our index.html file and in VS Code you have this shortcut where you can just press exclamation and press tab. And you'll have this basic HTML5 code. And then you can just add the link of the CSS file over here. So I'll just type link and press tab. And in the href, I'll just type style.css. And uh, first of all, let's create the markup for the navigation menu. So if you go back to the design, we can see that this is our navigation menu. And here we can see on the left, we have the logo. And on the right, we have these menu items and also these social media icons. So let's create a container division for this navigation menu. So I'll just create a division with a class of nav container. And in that we will have a nav element. And in the nav element we will have the logo and uh, these other elements. Now for the logo we'll just create a division with a class of logo. And here I'll just type lb dot. Now let me just open this in a browser. So I have this extension called live server installed in VS Code. So you can just install this. And once you do that, you can just right click over here in the HTML and click on open with live server. And here we can see our logo is being displayed. Now the next thing we need to have is uh, these menu items. So for that, we'll create a division with a class of menu items. So here after the now, I'll just create a division with a class of menu items. And in that we will have anchor tags for all the menu items. And here for the href, I'll just type hash for now. You can just type the link of your pages over here. Right, the menu items are home, about, services and contact. So let's add them over here. And I'll just duplicate this line. You can just press shift and alt and press the down arrow and it will be duplicated. The next one is about and then we have services. And then lastly we have contact. All right, now the next thing we need to have is uh, the social media icons container. So let's create a division for that. I'll just create a division with a class of social. And in that we will have anchor tags and in the anchor tags we will have the images. And here in the href you can just type the links of your social media pages. So the first one we need to have is Facebook. So here in the anchor tag I'll just create an IMG tag. And in the source I'll just type images slash facebook.png. And I'll just copy this anchor tag and paste it two more times. And the next image we need to have is Instagram and then we have Twitter. So I'll just type images slash Instagram dot PNG. And then we have images slash Twitter dot PNG. Right now let's go back to our design and uh, here we can see we have all the elements. We have the logo, the menu items and the social media icons. Now the next thing we need to have is uh, this hero section over here. Now the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a container division for this. Now here we can see we have this linear gradient background color and uh, it covers the whole screen. So we have to create a container division for that. And for all the other content inside this uh, hero section, we have a fixed width. So we'll just create a header element for that and we'll just give it a fixed width in CSS. So let's go back to our HTML and uh, let's go outside this nav container division. So here, outside this, we'll just add a comment. So you can just press control and forward slash. And here I'll just type end of nav menu. And here let's create a division with a class of header wrapper. You can name these classes anything you want. And this header wrapper will have this background color. And for all the other content inside the header wrapper, we'll just create a header. And we'll just give it a class of my header. And on the left side, we have this text content and these buttons. So for that, we'll create a division with a class of text content. And in that, the first thing we need to have is the heading. So I'll just type h1. And I'll just copy this text from here and I'll just paste it inside this heading. Now the next thing we need to have is uh, these uh, two lines of text over here. So for that let's create a division with a class of subheading. So here after the heading I'll just type subheading. 
and in that we need to have two paragraphs so I'll just copy this from here and we'll just create a paragraph tag and I'll just paste it over here and let's create one more paragraph tag and here I'll just copy this text and let's paste it over here all right now the next thing we need to have are these buttons so for that let's create a division with a class of buttons and for the buttons we will have anchor tags so let's go back over here and let's create anchor tag and here in the href I'll just type hash for now and we'll also give it a class of btn so that we can style it in our CSS and here for the first button we have this text learn more and then we have a button called try it so I'll just duplicate this and here I'll just type try it right, that's it with the text content now here on the right side we have this image and we also have this background shape so for that let's go back outside this text content division which is right here and we'll just create a division with a class of image and in that we'll have this image so I'll just create an IMG tag and in the SRC I'll just type images slash and I have saved it as heroimage.png and then for this background shape we're gonna have a division with a class of image bg and we'll just style it using css to make it look like this so that's it with the html of our design and in the next video we will add the css and make it look like this and then i'll also show you how to make it responsive so that's it for this video if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day